Mummy says hello. You may have heard of the Dark Angel of Ravensburg, the Butcher of Belsen. My personal favorite, the Fifth Horseman, Doctor of the Apocalypse. What history has failed to relate is that this was not three individuals, but the tireless work of a single artist. And today you have the privilege of experiencing his work firsthand. Hello again, Mr. Sulla. My apologies. There's a short in the wiring. I thought I'd located it. I keep telling the maestro to modernize, but alas, he's a hopeless sentimentalist. <laughs> oh! We have contact. Oh. My apologies. Won't oh. happen again. <clears throat> so sorry, I can't stay to finish you off myself. Rudy's never in a rush, but sadly I am. And I want it to be slow. I'll send your regards to little Gabby. Once upon a time, there was a little boy. You wouldn't describe him as a particularly special little boy. He was neither tall nor handsome, charismatic or amusing. In fact, he appeared to be exceedingly dull. Because of this boy's apparent shortcomings, he was bullied mercilessly and relentlessly by the other children. He emerged with miserable year as life continued to be a living hell. But what the other boys didn't understand about their victim was that he didn't see them as enemies. He saw them as instruments of learning. A priceless lesson was gleaned from his demantis. Man has only two masters in this world, and their names are pain and fear. The boy found he had quite a talent for eliciting these feelings in others. So on the principle of playing to your strengths, he decided to make their cultivation his life's work. Fortunately for this boy, history gave him an unprecedented opportunity. A world war. Mr. Solo, on which he would produce his greatest work. You will go here, Mr. Solo. A whole page just for you. And not in black and white, like the others, no. Kodachrome. The colors are so real, you can almost taste them. Ready? <laughs> 